Super Beat Zonic was originally released on the PlayStation Vita, but now it's making its way over to the PS4. However, does this rhythm game hit all the right notes, or is it just tone deaf? Super Beat Zonic is, well, a rhythm game, featuring button presses to the rhythm of the music and the symbols on screen at the right moments in order to score points and try to get a high ranking. The game features over 60 music tracks of all different genres, rock, pop, classical, R&B, and more. The game features two different styles of play in four and six track mode, basically more or less commands potentially coming your way during the course of songs. In 4-track mode, you have two sets of lines on the left and right sides each, and then of course on 6-track mode, you have three on each side. These represent down, left, and up on the D-pad on the left side, and X, circle, and triangle on the right side of the screen. You also have to use the joysticks, left and right, in order to sometimes flick arrow directions or sometimes even hold and move up and down for certain parts of tracks. While this sounds relatively simple, it takes a little bit to get used to, and of course, will ramp up in difficulty with harder songs that you're able to do, as well as, of course, if you decide to go from 4-track to 6-track mode, which can be chaotic, especially on higher difficult songs. The game features two game modes in Stage and World Tour. On Stage, you either select four or six track or advanced version of six tracks, and then you get to go through a series of three songs in a row, trying to just see how well you're able to do on them. Kind of a classic rhythm style like you would do in an old DDR style of game. Then there's the World Tour mode, which kind of works like a challenge mode. Here you have a series of challenges, easy, normal, and hard, where you're given things like get a certain combo during the course of the songs. Sometimes you'll have to get a higher combo and do multiple songs in a row. As you level up through experience of completing songs, you'll start to unlock more DJ icons to select from, which end up giving you boost to things like health and experience and other stats, so picking the right DJ icon for your play style will be important, as well as you also will unlock different sound types. Basically, the sound of your button inputs when you end up hitting the right notes, you can change up, and there's actually quite a lot of different sound effects that you can end up choosing from. As you level up also, though you unlock new tracks that you'll be able to play in stage mode and eventually will be coming up in world tour as well as more difficult world tour destinations and challenges for you to complete as well. There's a number of options to tweak and preferences to make the game either more difficult or easier for you, such as the speed that the notes end up coming towards you, or changing things like having the notes fade in only a few seconds before they end up having to be pressed instead of coming all the way from the background. Along with each song having their own difficulty and the different track modes, there's also default difficulties, easy, normal, and hard as well, which going on the hard difficulty, you lose your health a lot quicker. Just missing two or three notes in a song will cause you to fail it, but by playing on the harder difficulty, you'll earn more experience to be able to level up quicker and unlock things faster. From the technical side of things, though, the game did run smoothly and didn't run any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Super Beat Zonic is available now on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for $39.99, and it does feature a full trophy list, including a Platinum. Overall, this is a nice addition to the rhythm game genre, but I feel like it's overpriced except for those who love this particular genre of game. I do like the music, though, and there's a large amount of tracks, including 10 tracks that originally were DLC only on the Vita, and there actually are more tracks that will be DLC on this version. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Super Beat Zonic a 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.